just having it be Jody's face on on the main menu page, opening and closing her mouth like a dying fish, uh, was a very brave choice. Very brave. Do I have Detroit? Detroit... I'm pretty sure I do. I bought them all as a set. I also have them on console because, you know, that was before they were even on PC. Detroit... Become Human. There it is. Yep, I have it. Alright, cool. Cool. I hope it's good. What are my expectations for Detroit? I just I just really want to have a story that's that's like Blade Runner, except that you're meant to empathize with the with the androids. That's the kind of uh, story I'm looking for, and I hope that, that Detroit delivers where Blade Runner did not. <clears throat> That's what I want. You don't empathize with the replicants of Blade Runner. <clears throat> okay, so in case you weren't here for the previous streams or you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, that that's a joke based on something that David Cage uh, said. He he described the game, um, and this is I don't think this is, this is a direct quote. It's someone. Wow, that got loud. Uh, it's someone reporting what they said, what David Cage allegedly said to him. I think it's Austin Walker, uh, if you know who that is. Um, said that David Cage told him that it's that Detroit Become Human is like Blade Runner, except you're meant to root for the androids. Reference humor, dab. Yeah, reference humor is pretty bad, but like I try not to do it in uh, in videos, but on stream it's fair game. I do do it in videos sometimes, but I find like, I find that reference humor is is really lazy. You're just kind of haha, look, it's a reference to something, but you know, if it's an inside joke, I think it can work. But live on stream, it's it, like anything's fair game, and any anything to be funny. Oh, don't ask questions. Merry Cageless. After Cage, we play Vampire. Do, 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 do. Bloodlines, the masquerade. Can you buy a book of David Cage quotes? I don't think so, no. Uh, this noise, by the way, you might be hearing the noise, is that uh, for Christmas, um, Lily got me a 64-ounce thermostat. Thermostat? Thermos? I don't know what the right word is. I think it's thermos, isn't it? Th thermostat is a thing on the wall. Um, 
a big container that put you put liquid in and it keeps if it's hot it keeps it hot if it's cold it keeps it cold um and uh i just fill it with water and i just drink it all day i i, I try to drink um uh, at least one i drink a lot of water i just do so this just makes it easier for me to drink a shit ton of water It's like a big bucket. Cold or hot water. I just, you know, I put a bit of both in and see which wins. And then it's a surprise. Thank you, chat, for the 38 month resub. Thank you, Citrus, for the 100 bits. Thank you, Unpossible Car, for the 11 month resub. Thank you, Case Scion, for the three month resub. Thank you, TFS Big D Danny Glide. That is a mouthful of a name for the four month resub. Thank you, Zorgox, for the 100 bits. And thank you to Gigaslash for the 5,000 bits, which is like a crazy amount of bits. That's um, that's $50, isn't it? Thank you so much, Gigaslash. That's, that's very generous of you. I wonder how long the handle on this uh, thermos is going to last for. <sighs> most entertaining cage scene so far? Probably something Indigo Prophecy. Indigo Prophecy is the most entertaining one. Uh, this one has been fun in, in sections. Uh, like I feel like um, Beyond Two Souls has, has been the most successful in being fun on purpose. Whereas uh, Indigo Prophecy is accidentally fun, but it is so much more fun than Beyond Two Souls. Uh, Heavy Rain's kind of dry. Like There's an interesting couple interesting scenes in Heavy Rain, but they're also kind of stupid. And uh, the ending is very, um, uh, kind of, uh, undermines the whole thing. Um, so I would say that for just batshit entertaining, Indigo Prophecy is definitely my favorite uh, so far. Uh, and this one hasn't been that bad, like, uh, but it, it has had the most yikes moments. I'm not sure if, if David Cage is... I don't know if he if he's okay. So I'm am gonna lay down a bunch of like really really big words. Not and I don't mean big in terms of size. I mean big in terms of like like oomph or oof. Um, I don't know if David Cage is is racist um, and sexist. I don't I don't know if he's that or if he's stupid. Like I I kind of feel like he's he's just stupid. I don't want to call the guy stupid because like like. Evidently, he's not like he the way more successful than I am, and 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 most of you watching, um, like look at the things that he's done. But like, how do you measure success in like what you've created or what you've built? I don't know. Like that goes back and forth, and that's a philosophical question. We also don't know how much David Cage um like started with, right? Like I I have no idea. Like did David Cage like inherit a shit ton of money? Like who who has David fucking Bowie do the soundtrack for your first game ever? You know that what the fuck? Like how? How? So like I I feel like um like, we don't have enough information. So I don't know what what's correct here and how to, how to view his success. Uh, but even if he did come into money and he didn't inherit a bunch of money, I don't want to just, like, call, like, what is effectively a stranger stupid. That's not very nice. But, like, I think he would rather be called stupid than racist, right? Or, or like, uninformed than racist, you know? I'm pretty sure that, that some of my comments that I've made um, won't stand the test of time and might be considered yikes, you know, decades from now. And I hope that uh, I'm given the benefit of the doubt of the time that we live in. And it's like, okay, well, they didn't know better back then. They were stupid. You know what I mean? Like, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I just don't know. Like, racist or dumb. Just like, oh man, it was awkward yesterday. It was awkward. Pull. That's the, that's the poll. Ra racists are dumb. <laughs> oh. We'll start in a couple of minutes, by the way. Uh, and just we're at the finale, so I want people to be here before we get into it. Uh, these streams have been between a thousand and two thousand people, and there's not a thousand people here yet, so I'm probably gonna wait until there's around like I don't know, maybe twelve hundred, and then we'll start. 
do 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 uninformed is the word go forward or go to word yeah maybe yeah uninformed yeah yeah it gets into a kind of um uh, an interesting conversation, also a delicate conversation, is that, um, like, can can you, s is something that you say or do out of stupidity or out of ignorance still considered racist? I asked this in, um, in, in Discord, or bigoted, I asked this in Discord the other day, and it seemed like most, of the, like, the answer was not unanimous, but it was heavily toward yes. Um, and I don't know about that, I, I think it depends on the circumstance, like, if... If someone has a kid and they teach the kid to say something that is that most would be considered racist and the kid just repeats it, I don't think the kid is racist. I think the kid is just saying nonsense. I think that's an example of of the kid like uh, of someone that can say something and out of ignorance and not be considered racist at all. But like that's an extreme case, right? Like I'm setting that up uh, as an example of look, it can, it can happen. But just because it can happen doesn't mean that that's like yes, I've proven it. All things that you say out of ignorance are are clean. Like like that's not um, that's not uh, the case either. Like I don't know. Do 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 do. Don't like calling ignorance racist, uh, especially through to learn. Yeah, uh, I don't think it's it's uh, it's that good either. Um, especially consider it's, considering it's quite a charged term as well. Um, I saw a tweet about this recently, and I thought it was interesting, and I and I think I learned something from it, which is weird because you know usually you don't learn anything from Twitter, and it was something like um, someone telling you that you said or did something racist shouldn't shouldn't be like this apocalyptic scenario and i guess this would go i hate i hate what i'm about to say but i have to say it anyway now I've, i set it up um I, I guess this this goes for both sides i get of, of the arguments that are usually around this sort of thing that um the people that are accusing the others of of being like racist and saying some yikes things need to like tone it down it depends on what it's what it is of course there are degrees need to be like look this is yikes please learn from it instead of like oh you said this yikes thing like now i hate you forever and i think you're the devil and i'm gonna block you on every platform that i possibly can and i'm going to rage against you forever and ever and ever and the other side needs to like take that as oh i said something bad i'm receiving criticism of it okay i need to actually learn from this and not be like well i need to go on the ultra defensive now and and, and take this down because otherwise you know i i might have to deal with this forever because of the 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 reaction to it you know what i mean um so i feel like uh that's something you can learn from. Like I, I saw that, and I was like, oh, yeah, that, that does make sense." You know, I feel like there's a lot of uh, a lot of that. Um, as someone who considers himself, I'm sorry, uh, to be very much on the left. Um, like all the centrism jokes th that I say, like I'm I'm not. I'm definitely on the left. Um, I do have some uh, opinions that are uh, leaning towards uh, centrism, if you want to say it that, that way, but it's kind of hard to, to talk about this when I don't know much about it, but also, like, uh, being in Canada, my political, like, spectrum is heavily influenced by what's on the, on the U.S. side, and, like, e being in the left on the U.S., you're still on the right compared to most places, uh, in, in, in like, the Western world, right? Like, it's, it's kind of weird, <laughs> like, it's like, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm an American lefty, well, you'd be a fucking conservative in, in Europe, you know what I mean? Like, so, it's, <laughs> so it's kind of, like, hard, hard to, to, to really know, uh, where, where you, uh, where you stand on that sort of thing, like, because Canada is, is, uh, definitely not the U.S., but it's, uh, uh, it's it's a bit strange, but yeah, um, yeah, I consider myself very much on the left, even though I do have some some uh, opinions that will deviate a bit. But um, yeah, I forgot what I was gonna say now. Shit. Oh, I was gonna talk about how I I just I think that. Um, I, I just wish that we could talk to each other better about these sort of things. I don't mean like like me and you all. I mean communities in general and societies in general. Uh, I wish we could have more co constructive conversations about this sort of thing, but that's a whole other issue.
Do, 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 do. Gonna play the game. As soon as we break 1200 viewers, we're gonna play the game, which should be any minute now. Because we're at the finale and I don't want people to miss it too much. What do you think about how the game called Fahrenheit used use Celsius? <laughs> Thank you, Senran, for the 12 and 3 sub. Welcome to the one year club, Senran. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, man. Like. The dogs have this, especially Gatsby, but sometimes Yoshi has it too. Gatsby has has developed this like really annoying habit of like trying to trying to trying to kiss you, but uh, he forgets to use his tongue. So instead, he just kind of opens his mouth a little bit and slams his whole front of his fucking head right into you. He did it to my face earlier and it hurt, but. Um, but uh, about a week ago, he did it to my shin, like right, right above my right ankle, and it hurt like crazy. Like it hurt for like hours afterwards, and there's like a lump there now, and it still hurts. So I'm just sitting here, just like, like rubbing it. Like, oh man, like he got me so good. He's such a big fucking dog, huge dog. Werewolf, yeah. He's a werewolf, dire wolf. Oh, we broke twelve hundred. All right, we can start now. All right, we can start. Okay. Uh, sound okay? I think I think we're good. All right. Here we go. Okay, so I think we're gonna be filling in all the areas that are around the prologue now. Maybe we'll go back. Um, yeah. So yeah, we don't have very many answers, do we? Like. We spent way more time getting ready for a date with just the most awful person in the whole story. Um, th that got more time than pretty much anything to do with Jody's powers in the main story. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Uh, old friends. My little princess. Hey, babe. Oh, Ooh, let me look at you, girl. Oh my God, what a beautiful young woman you've become. Just as pretty as ever. A little sad and lost, like the first time I saw you. I can't even imagine how much I missed you. And how's that? I didn't. Oh, yeah. Uh, good to see you too, buddy. Walk with me. Oh, yeah. You remember that time we possessed <laughs> you and just led you out into the forest and left you there? I was worried. It was good times. Looking for you. I had to run away. I mean, I had no choice. Discreet, Cole, Dawkins. Discreet. Did you tell anyone that I called you? No. Of course not. Not even Nathan. <laughs> Wouldn't do me any good to be meeting up with a known felon now, would it? <laughs> Have they made any progress on the Infraworld? Oh, they've sunk millions into developing a new condenser. The most powerful ever created. Of course, that was only possible once the army got involved. You're working with the army? Oh, Nathan had no choice, really. It's funding. On the condition of exploring possible military applications. <laughs> Go figure. What I talked to you about? Did you find out anything? On the day you were born, a woman named Nora Gray had a child in the DPA hospital. Her child was declared stillborn. Nora Gray. And the father? Did you learn anything about him? His name was Jonathan Nichols. He died before birth. Heart failure. That's all I could find. What else did you learn about her? Not much. All I know is that she took part in a DPA research program some 20 years back. 
She also had a gift. Where is Nora now? She was interned in a psychiatric hospital just after she gave birth. Oh no. According to her file, she should still be there now. Oh no. How is their power generator? Is it okay? Is it safe? My mother's locked up in a mental hospital. I'm sorry, Jody. I've got to go see her. Jody, I know how you feel, but she's in a mental hospital. You might not get the answers you're looking for. I'm not looking for answers. I just need to see her. I mean, don't you understand? She's my mother. If I look her in the eye, I could find out who I truly am. Jody. She's in a high security DPA facility, and you're wanted by every law enforcement agency in the country. You won't be able to walk right in. Yeah, but I have CIA skills. Nothing's gonna stop me from seeing her. That's why. That's why David Cage did the CIA thing, was so she would have the skills to break into the mental hospital. That's probably why! A huge risk <laughs> Thank you, Cole. <laughs> hey. You didn't think I was gonna let you go alone, did you? Yeah. You're a lab tech. You can't do anything. Oh, okay. Well, Cole's gonna die. Honestly, I'm surprised he survived this long. I don't like it, Jody. No guard on gate. Empty parking lot. Something doesn't feel right. I'm not back in 30 minutes. Just go. It's like it's it's so just the, the hospital. Cole, Cole, wait. Do you know what would make all these uh, dialogue scenes better? If um, you had to like move the sticks and follow some colors while it was going on, that that would make me feel much more engaged. This game looks pretty good, actually. Look at look at the uh, the slick tarmac. It looks pretty good. How do you like David Cage writing? I think that it's um, uh, quite inconsistent, actually, and it's a bit of a puzzle to me because sometimes the dialogue is pretty good, and um, some of the situations are okay. Not not really, though. I think that's probably the weakest part. Like that's the that's the most consistently bad part. But like some of the dialogue is good, and then all of a sudden you'll get like just some just some awful dialogue. Like like how did the actors even like say it? You know. So it's um it's interesting. Are you is your face just stuck like that? Like Oh no, it's not. Okay. Try the polite approach. Get some every time. Hello. Hey, um I've come to see Nora Gray. Oh, it didn't even occur to me that we would try to go in to see her. I thought we were just gonna jump right to the CIA suction cups on the on the wall. <laughs> Spider-Man your way in, you know? I didn't even think we were just gonna walk in and be like, hey, can I see her? Like <laughs> Can I see your authorization? <laughs> um plead evade. Uh plead. Can you help me out? Look, she's my I haven't seen her in... I'm sorry. All visitors must have the correct authorization. Damn. Well, this was swing and a mess. Alright. I'm thinking Arby's. What do you want to go do? Okay, so I didn't get him this time. What next? I'm working on it. I was afraid you'd say that. Do, 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 do... Hey, 
Hey, we don't know what room she's in. I'll find out. Found her. Nora Gray, seventh floor, room 43. Yes, that's how that would work. Oh, looks nice. So good. <gasps> well, why? We came here. We're fine. We have authorization. What now? I don't. Find a way to open that door. What? Just walk in. What what's he gonna do? <laughs> you gotta distract the guard first. Oh, that damn button. It's always turning itself on. button now hit the button what what do you do we have to get rid of him why don't we just possess him okay are you just like yeah whatever dude all right here you go oh no the nice power's idea. out now unlock the door come on Must be something. This is a very nice building. Like, god damn, what the hell? I thought I thought we were gonna be hitting this button here. Can we just go in? No? Alright, where is it? Are we are we going and getting you? Oh, it's no, too far away. Yeah, too far away. Alright. Um let's knock something over to make him come over here. Alright, here. Now you can come over here. The camera's looking the other way. Someone's moving chairs. Dave Norman. <laughs> that, that wouldn't work at all, but okay. and get the hell out of here. Whoa! Damn, just when I thought, okay, like it went the other way, he learned a lesson. No, nope, we just had to say this shit. Alright, here we go. Break the camera. No, I have to break the camera. No, Cole, no.
there aren't cameras on this side. God damn it. Forty-three! I found it, Jody! Say Good it job. say it louder. I wait here. Jody. She may have lost her mind. She might not even know you're there. Maybe you shouldn't go in. Well, that's a good point. I mean, I haven't known her my whole life, and she's not really going to know me. So this is really kind of a waste of time. Huh. Alright, let's see their call. No, I have to do this. An IV? Really? Well. Okay. Mom, it's me. Judy. Mom, I need to tell you something. My whole life I've known this entity. Do you want to talk to dad? Aiden, we could play a pretty good prank right now. Help me, Aiden. What's Aiden gonna do? Is that going? Okay. Well done, Nora. Wait, is that Nathan? The mother and the father, both gifted. Do you realize how important this baby is? No. You won't be able to, Nora. Let us take care of everything. It's for the best. You know that. Let's touch my baby! They wouldn't just carry the baby out like that. They they would they would put it in a cart. They wouldn't you know. Some special abilities. Let us know as soon as anything unusual happens. Yeah, okay. Decrease the dose. Make sure she never regains consciousness. Yes, it was. How dare you be born? <laughs> what I did? What are you trying to show me? Destroy this thing, Aiden. Destroy it now. What? Is is this what David Cage thinks the mental illness looks like? Or is she possessed? Or like I'm gonna go with possession, but you know, it's David Cage. I have no what what is this? Remember when we died and we went through something like this and then they never brought that up? Like what? Alright, let's go. Thanks, I'm cured. 
If she's fine now. My little girl. Oh my god. My little girl. I care now. I was so afraid I would never see you again. So if I didn't punch me, would I not be narcoleptic anymore? I've missed you so much, Jody. I've missed you so much. What happened? What did they do to you? The drugs they gave me trapped me in this hell. <laughs> There's nothing, nothing I can do. Just wait for it to end. What? I'm gonna, I'm gonna get you out of here. I'm gonna help you. It's too late. I don't want to have to punch me at least once a day. That's too, too much late. work. No, just leave me. I love you more than anything else in the world. Nothing will ever change that. Oh no, the drugs. Just take the IV out. Oh darn, there's nothing we can do here. All right, this is for me. See you later, thanks so much. Just, just not stop criticism. Just, it's just endless, I'm so sorry. Just every moment, it's just like... <laughs> Alright, see you later. <laughs> just take the IV out, what the fuck? Wait, where's the Book of Origami? It's gotta be around here somewhere. Did we mur- we mur- we- 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 we murdered her. I didn't think that I didn't think that was gonna happen. I- We- we murdered her. What? Did we want to murder her? What the f- Despacito. I'm guessing they wouldn't let me be idle and go through the door, right? All right, Jody. <sighs> okay, Iden doesn't get knocked out when Jody gets knocked out. Iden, go Super Saiyan. No, okay. Too tired after killing mom. All right. Why doesn't I just check every door ever? Yeah, exactly! It makes no sense! I hate it when when stories do this, when they, they give the character like like superpowers or extraordinary circumstances or like the world and it doesn't make any sense. Like you have to think things through to their logical conclusion. It's not about plot holes, it makes it more interesting. All right, thank you for the water. Oh, is that a snow globe? 
I love snow globes. Oh, it is. It's kind of a shitty one, though. All right, this is an advanced computer thing. Power. All right, well, that's going down. Huh. Alpha waves. Alpha. Is that the same book with a different color cover? Okay. Is that a portal reference? Alright, guess I'll leave. Alright, go check the door before we go out. No, it's ghost proof. Alright. What is this place? Are we on an aircraft carrier? Are we in the sky? Are we in space? The most powerful condenser ever created. Impressive, isn't it? Ethan! Oh. It's good to see you. I was so afraid something happened to you. You've lost weight. You look exhausted. But at least you're alive. Let's go into my office. Damn, you have a nice Please office. Have a seat. How do you feel? <laughs> um, I've been better. That hit on the head did not help. Oh, I'm sorry. I told them not to hurt you. I just didn't want to give you a chance to use either. CIA, Cole, Nora, uh... How did they find me? They've been tracking you ever since you escaped. They wanted to kill you. But I convinced them to wait for a while and watch you from a distance. Where's Cole? He's at home. He's fine. I know he was trying to help you. Don't worry, there won't be any consequences for last night. Cole's dead. What happened to my mother, Nathan? Nora was unstable. They were afraid she was a danger to herself and her baby. My mother would never hurt me. <laughs> they couldn't take that chance, look. Yeah, okay. I was a researcher at the DPA, Jody. I didn't discover until much later what happened. Truth. Fake parent. Truth. Why did you never tell me about my mother? You never asked. Why did you hide the truth all these years? I tried to tell you. But how do you tell a little girl that her life isn't real? So, I looked after you. Loved you. Tried to protect you as best as I could. So now what? You're just gonna hand me back to the CIA? Is that the plan, Nathan? They brought you here because they have something for you to do, and they'd be very grateful if you do it. Bitter, angry. Wow, these are two different choices. Fuck it. You're asking me to help the people who wanted to kill me? Is that what you're asking me, Nathan? Listen, Jody. Why should I listen to you? You work for them, and you lied to me about my mother and my parents, and for what? The money, or the power, or the fame? Oh, stop that, Jody. You know that's not true. I know nothing anymore. Well, we know another country has discovered the... Okay, so, like, we don't really have enough context to know who's right or who's wrong here, but, like, I'm kind of on Team Defoe, like... I, I, I'm sure that he did actually know all this shit and it's going to reveal that, oh my god, oh no, he's the foe. But, like, he could very easily not know much about her family. Like, he's he wasn't that powerful until right now, right? Like, he was in some, some like, like much lower facility 
and like he had no power to keep her from going to the CIA. Like I don't know. Infra world. They think it's something to be controlled or manipulated. They have no idea what they're dealing with. If entities enter our world, do you know what that would mean, Jody? What has all this got to do with me? Because you know the infra world better than anyone. Does she though? It's the CIA's job. And I'm done with that. She doesn't though. They want to offer you a deal. You do this for them. And they let you out, you're free. Jody, do you know what would happen if a passage is open? It'll be the apocalypse. You have the power to stop this. So please, go open it. Oh no, you asked me to close it, but instead I actually opened it for you instead. Wah ha ha ha, thank you. That's the truth. Took the medallion, didn't explore, ended Nora's suffering. Oh wow! Most people do that. Uh, didn't explore the cells with Aiden. Oh, you can do that? Wow, damn. Too bad it's fucking inconsistent about what you can do. Didn't ask about Dawkins. All right. Briefing. All right. Damn. The prologue is at the end? Wow. Just like, damn. Poetry. That's a war room. Uh, thank you, too. Hasfam0316 uh, for the 100 bits. Uh, I day is I days is here. I days is here. One of those for the 2 3 sub. Gluten free guy for the 3 3 sub. Uh, Salty Edvin for the new sub. Welcome, Salty Edvin. Thank you very much. And also a new sub from uh, a Synchron Cloud. Asynchron Cloud. One of those two. Again, thank you very much. Welcome, welcome. According to our intel, the Republic of Kazakhstan has discovered the existence of the Infoworld. Found a rift. Like. Like not. Like not. Not China or. Or like Russia or. Or Japan or. The Republic of Karistan? What? Conducting experiments from a secret base located in the province of Hailao Jiang. I don't... don't know what stage they are in their experiments, but we've detected important fluctuations within the infraworld. That means they found a way to interact with the other side. Now your mission. Am I being ignorant? I don't know what that is. Is that a is that a real place? Even if we manage to destroy the condenser, the rift will still be there. Building a condenser is a costly and time-consuming business. With this operation, we'll gain time to better understand the infra world and to make sure that no one try to use it against us. Well, I assume the site will be heavily guarded? Well, you should expect considerable military resistance. Team will... Team? Oh, welcome back, Ryan. Show them in, Marla. Okay. Yay. This makes sense. Hey, baby. Good to see you, girl. For fuck's sake. Clayton's team goes with you, a small, agile commando unit able to avoid detection. The mission begins in two days. Jody, you have all the pull here. You're the only one that can do this shit. Say no, I won't work with them. Bring me literally anyone else. Just an, literally anyone else. Jody. Good luck. Jody. My God. My God. Careful, oh. No one knows what you're going to find on the other side. Don't worry. I don't think I'm ready to join the infra world yet. Dramatic walk away. Good. Because I don't want to lose you. Hmm. All right. I didn't go. Go kill Ryan. Wait till you guys are eating something and then make him choke. Be like, oh man, what a freak accident! He's choking on food. Damn. It's good to see you. How unfortunate. 
Alright, is he the is he the C and the other two are I and the other one's A? Cold. Yeah. For the mission's sake? Sake. Okay. Try to keep Aiden from killing you. But no promises. Women. Well, we're off to a great start. I hope we don't do another military operation bullshit. Well, this went well. I put tired of all this. <laughs> If you refuse to cooperate, I will have no choice but to kill you. Of course, I will kill you regardless. <laughs> but it could have been fast and painless. Instead, it will be a very, very slow and agonizing death. So, I ask you one last time. Who do you work for? I where are you? Did did we miss a scene? It's completely deserted. You Ooh. sure it's here? Ooh. We're right on top of the coordinates. The storm's getting worse. What do we do now? Hey, Jody, ask Aiden to find a shelter somewhere. No. You hear that, Aiden? Yeah, Aiden, find us some shelter, ghost. All right. Well, we can't go very far, unless this is one of those times where we can go as far as we want. All right, it is cool. All right, love this game, by the way. Oh, man, look how far we can go. Can we go to space? Let's go. Oh, we've hit the limit, all right. Oh, look, here we go, in here. There's a house over there! Got it! Damn. Let's go! Because there was so many options. Alright. I'd like to try skiing. I've never gone skiing. Is it hard? Is skiing one of those things that you can, like, learn how to do in just a couple days? Like, not to be good, but like, just be enough that you can just like, go skiing. Shit! It's fucking freezing! What are we doing here? It's just a goddamn fishing village! Our informer duped us. That's what happened. We better get moving before they have to dig our frozen dead asses out of here. Three days, walking on ice, eating snow, for nothing! Bro, why are you eating Fuck. snow? Find the asshole that sent us here. What? Dude, I'm sick and tired of hearing you complaining. That's all you have to say. Then shut the fuck up. Damn. Tell him, Ryan. You guys, I'm freezing. You think maybe we could build a fire first and argue later? She's right. We'll set up camp here till the storm blows over. I'll contact HQ and get instructions. All right, what are you doing? Fuck it. Everything's wet. Let me try. Wait. Fucking genius. I didn't can start Don't fires. Five, Did you see that, Jody? Yeah. yeah great work, guys. Oh man, mine's way nicer than that.
Yep, just gonna turn the C4 off and on. Yep, here we go. Yep, that's C4 alright. Good job. Alright, still working. Hey guys, I checked the C4. Little C4, knock on any door. Was that not her bag, or is it like two bags? Alright, I'm leaving. See you guys later. I'm gonna go out. I'm desperate for a pee. Don't go too far. Finally! Man. It's minus 40. I don't plan on doing any sightseeing. Would you go outside to pee in minus 40? Wouldn't you just pee inside? We're nitpicking at this point, but like, wouldn't. Like. that? Surely that's not worth it. This is so dumb. Yeah, I'm sure I'm sure glad we get to hear it. All right. Oh no. They're going to see me Close the door! The convoy of armored cars, they drove right by me. They see you? No. Jody! Let's roll. Let's follow them! I'm having fun. Where's her backpack? Bingo. I didn't go see what's inside. No. Excuse me? Oh. <laughs> you could have given me like <laughs> days and I n never would have guessed that inside there were gonna be fucking submarines! Oh. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> How far can we go now? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> They're loading crates into... Into submarines. Submarines? That means the rift is... It's underwater. I mean, they must have a, a base down there and they're using the subs to shuttle supplies. <laughs> they have an underwater base? I can see three. Tell Aiden to take them out. Aiden? Get rid of them. Alright, do I knock something on him? Do I close on him and cut his head off? Oh, that would be good. Let's do that. Let's do that. What's keeping it up?
Oh no. Tinks up! Why'd you do that? Should have healed him first. Okay. Good, we closed it. Keep the heat in. Greetings, Halloween. Whoa! Fuck, Nick! Sorry. Oh, you could give me some warning. So, what do we do now? Just give me a second, okay? Alright, who knows how to drive a submarine? Probably Aiden. Aiden, help drive the submarine. Alright. What, what exactly are you doing? I have to pee again, I'm not done. I'm finding a solution to the problem. Nice idea, but it won't fool them very long. Yeah, well, maybe not. But that fucking rift is not gonna shut down by itself, is it? Okay. That might work from a distance. Then what? We take the sub down to the base. And then we take it from there. I'll go with her. What about us? It's a two-seater. You stay here, you find us a way out. By the time we get back, there's a good chance we're gonna have to move fast. You could squeeze what? a couple of people order, in there. Nick. Okay, are there like codes to get into the base? Do they let you in? Like how? Like, Give me the explosives. This is a dumb plan. All right, explosives. All right. There's so much room down here. Oh no, it's a two seater. No. Okay. Okay. Who knows how to pilot a submarine? It's it would be pilot, right? It wouldn't be drive. Oh, Jody does. Okay, of course she does. You do realize we might not make it back alive, yes, right? Yes, that's the important part. Yeah. Yeah, I've known that from the start. Keep diving. The base shouldn't be far. Oh shit, what visibility is bad. It's hard to get my bearings. Oh, oh, no, oh, no. Oh, shit. Oh, man, they know we're coming now, Ryan. Maybe that's why we get caught. Oh, these rocks, they just come out of nowhere. Fuck. Hey Ryan, remember that time you, you lied to me about assassinating the president of a country? Yeah, good times. Good times. Oh shit. Just no reaction. Just none. Wouldn't this be a good time for a conversation? You know, have it out. Like, imagine if they hadn't made him a complete fucking scumbag asshole for no reason, and they could have some banter back and forth here, and you know, like, oh no. There. 
I hope we get we get through this. What the fuck is this shit? Alright. Uh, I hope that wasn't a question. Wait, you don't know how to speak Chinese? Why were you part of this group then? That would be like sending an assassin to assassinate someone in a country and she doesn't know how to speak the language. I mean, <laughs> I hope, I hope that's it. I hope how they, that's how they got caught. I hope that, I hope we, this isn't a flash forward. Please, <laughs> please. Press. Few men would have heard that for so long. <laughs> what is Iden doing? Perhaps you will be more sensitive to your comrades' pain. My questions are simple. I want to know your name, who you work for, and how you learn of the existence of this base. Of course, you also have to tell me what happened when you crossed the containment field. Just say nothing, you hear me? I'm going to ask the same questions over and over again until you answer them. What is your name? Is Aiden gone? Maybe this isn't how they got caught. Maybe they got caught after a little bit later. Hmm, okay. What is your quest? That looks painful. All you have to do is answer, and your comrade will not suffer anymore. Still won't answer? No. What do I have to do to make you speak? Nothing. That's it. No, 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 no. Perhaps you will not remain silent if I go a little further. You haven't done anything yet. This is so unnecessary. Yeah, that's just sums up the game actually. You only have to answer and this nightmare will come to an end. Answer, I beg you. I hate to see people suffer for nothing. Who the fuck are you? An urgent request demands my attention. I shall return soon to continue our conversation. Why does he sound French? He does sound a little French, doesn't he? Wasn't. That one. I'm so disappointed. We find the condenser, destroy it, and get out. I'm so disappointed. And any idea how you plan to do that? No. But I'll figure something out. When's Below Zero gonna be done? I'd, I'd like to play another Subnautica. I hope it's good. Jody, don't get too close to that. Subnautica was so good. You can't just wait here. Me? Oh no, this is how we get caught. 
Oh no. Well, that's the end of that. Alright, cool. That's the end of my story. I walked up to the leader and then I got caught. Alright, well, that didn't take very long. Jody! Jody, what's happening? I don't know. It's hiding. He can do this now? Okay, well that sure helps us. Oh, it wasn't us that did it. It's an it's a it's an anti-ghost um door. Okay, well, a uh, field. Okay, well, it's not in the ceiling. It is in the ceiling. I can go through walls. What the fuck is this? Sh Look, I can go through this. This makes no sense. No sense. Okay, all right, fuck it. All right, can I go through this? Oh wow, of course I can because doors are made of different things. All right, awesome. I love this. I'm so happy right now. I'm so happy. Let's play the what the fuck can I didn't go through game. Shouldn't Jody be like dying right now because we're so far away? Oh no, another ghost door. All right. How do I close the ghost door? Where are you, Aiden? Or open it. him for no reason okay cool why did we want him dead why didn't we possess him instead and then go a walk in and see if we can break some things no all right we just came in here and just killed this guy all right cool I'm glad that's done all right we killed him now what all right let's go in here and kill someone else Man, I never, never feel as powerful as the ghost as I did in the very first scene as the ghost. It's very disappointing. Alright, can I possess you guys? No, of course I can't. This is too far away, right? Yeah, it's too far away. Okay. Aiden. Aiden? Did they forget what his name was? Oh, you are susceptible. far in advance all right I guess we go into the uh, to the armory and get something
Cool. Alright. Alright, so I'm guessing we go shoot up the engine parts and that turns it down. Alright. Oh, let's go have a shower! Is that the ghost room? That looks like the ghost room to me. Let's go in here. Yes, we have a card. That's good. Wow, just no reaction. Alright, we did it. Yay! are out now. Finally. But the game! No, the game! I wanted to see the rest of the game. Is someone still asleep? Please. Aiden. Then why didn't we just use that on the- like, why did we need a gun? If we're capable of slamming down steel door... We don't need a gun. A gun couldn't do that. Gives a shit about Ryan. Last. Quick. Nah, I'm not healing Ryan. Fuck that. Hold on, let me open the door. God, I hope it hits him. Darn. Are you okay? You really wanna know? Oh come on. Oh. <sighs> Can you walk? Yeah, I'm okay. Go back to the subs. Wait for me. If I'm not back in 15 minutes, just go without me. Are you crazy? Look, Jody, we've done it. The base is destroyed. Let's get out of here while we still can. The rift is wide open. Entities are just gonna come pouring out if we don't close it. No, it's too late, Jody. We gotta go now. It's the only way. You know that. Well, well, well. The explosives. I need the explosives in the interrogation room. Where are the ghosts?
I then move this. What? Why can't you go through? Oh. Now these ghosts just don't care about us, huh? Oh, this is cool. Oh man, that's cool. What movie is this from? Shit, I'm really scared, I know. Stay close, okay? on this thing. Is there a reason they made it underwater or? Keep calm, Biden. No, I Gotta keep a low profile. Kind of cool looking. I'm just imagining the the like one person in chat who thinks like David Cage is awesome and and these games are great, just sitting there watching these streams the whole time with their arms crossed, <laughs> just the whole time, just like. Fucking bullshit. <laughs> this, uh, this part, this part's cool. This part will show him. He's like, yeah, it looks pretty cool, but like, like the rest. <laughs> what is this thing? It does look cool, I have to give the game that. Alright, three. Alright. Now I'm turned around because the animation is based on the thing, independent of where you come at or come at it. Right? Is this the one I already did? No. Okay. Cool. All right. There we go. We're done. Three minutes. I'm out of here. Will this work? This way toward the light? Okay.
Why would they put it underwater? Alright, we're definitely lost. It's a ghost leviathan. Oh, it even looks like a fish. Oh, Stranger Things music. Oh man, did, did the Dufferin brothers really copy Beyond Two Souls? This is awkward. Oh, was I supposed to be moving there? What happens if we fail here? <laughs> oh, it's not allowed to come out of the water. Okay, I feel like taking off the underwater suit is a bad is a bad decision. Yeah, if only we had kept it on. Discovery, the world has ever known. Destroyed because Fucking of you, stupid regretting American my decision on, on this side of the, uh, the, the Chinese secret underwater base. All right, what if I don't? Like, seriously, what if I don't? Yes, ah, fuck it, let's go Fight along. I guess ghost fish would have saved us. Make you pay for what you've done. Darn. I mean, that wasn't gonna hit us. She was already clear of it. Oh, we failed. Now she's just gonna teleport back up on top of the ice and be like, sorry, I couldn't do it. Oh man, he's not gonna be in Beyond Three Souls. Hit the rock. I didn't learn how to teleport and get us out of here.
Did he just kiss her? What? Did we get the bad ending? Did you get the asshole kisses you after you've died ending? The asshole kisses you after you've died ending isn't my favorite. Dragon's hideout. All right. <laughs> well, we missed a lot. Shit. All right. <laughs> so did they forget to put the scene in where Ryan saves her? Because like, I don't remember that happening. <laughs> When signed into PSN, I'm playing on Steam. What? Good night, princess. Is Nathan okay? When will I see him again? Oh. I don't know, honey. He hasn't left his office in three days. Oh, no. He loved his wife and daughter more than anything in the world. But we can try again tomorrow, okay? Okay. I kind of want to reload that scene and see what we missed. Now you get some sleep. I would rather have game overs than these really awkward forced bullshit like, okay, here's how it continues. I genuinely pref would prefer game overs and have to try it again. Like, y like his philosophy for this shit it, like works. It's just that the effort isn't in there for for the different options and the different repercussions and shit. Like, like it's a fine idea. It just like the way that it's implemented is really awful. All right. This happens to me every night, except it's Geralt. Well, good thing you it's the door, not the wall. Do they like teach you a creepy class after you die? Here's how to be creepy. Nathan. All right, time to get drunk. Tony. What are you doing here? It's late. Go back to bed. Nathan, get your shit together. You need a stern talking to. That's how you deal with people when they're down. All right, time for eyes to roll back in the head. It's me, your, your wife, daughter... Whoever the fuck decides to go for it. Alright.
don't be sad, Daddy. What did you say? It was so quick. Mommy couldn't do anything. But it didn't hurt. Stop it, Jody. It didn't hurt at all. You hear me? Stop it right now. We're here, Nathan. We're right by your side. Come on. Laura. I love you, darling. We'll always love you. Talk to me again. Jody. Make them come back. Make them come back again. They can't. They've gone. Please. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. I miss them so much. How did they know Jody could make that happen? Alright. Time to go hang out with Bunny Gruff. See you later. Thanks, I'm cured now. <laughs> Alright, will I take solace in the fact that I know that when I die there's an afterlife and I will see them again? Or, or no, no I will not. No, no, no I won't, no. Black sun, alright. Damn, confirmation of the afterlife. What to do with this information? I know. The active condenser in the Republic of Kazakhstan has been destroyed and the rift is now inaccessible. We are now the only nation with access to the infoworld. This situation <sighs> opens up new strategic and military perspectives. Does it though? Now we're gonna launch new programs to discover possible energy resources and develop military applications. We've already found ways of linking entities to human soldiers, and this is just the beginning. Now, this is more important than the race to space for developing nuclear capability. We have discovered a new world. A world for us to conquer. <laughs> this is the beginning of a new era for our nation. Hey Jim, how's it going? Just leaving. See you later. Oh, wait, wrong one. Alright, sorry. Uh, no, this one. No. 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 Okay. Alright. Pentagon top brass getting you down? McGrath makes me sick. Just a typical cynical asshole. No, I would be doing the country a favor if I let Aiden take care of him. We played our part in all of this. Regrets. Okay, regrets how you talk to him or regrets about assassination? I shouldn't have accepted that mission. I was only thinking about my freedom and that was stupid. What are you gonna do now? Friends, no more life far away. Wait, how is she alive? Didn't she die? I guess they brought her back alive. Did, did I just, like, blank out and miss something? Like, how, like... Like, wasn't she dead? Like, and then, like, there was no, like, I'm breathing part, right? Like... <laughs> did, did we all collectively kind of just forget about that together? Just, I was like, oh yeah, okay, now we're here, that makes sense. <laughs> uh, far away. Go as far away from here as possible. Try and forget about what a mess my life has been so far. 
And what about you? CIA has it all mapped out for me. Top tier, big car, golf meetings. Nice. I mean, I haven't given him an answer yet, but it's worth considering. Listen. You know what, Ryan? You're Julia, not so I, bad. I know it's been complicated between us, and I, I didn't always do the right thing. But maybe we could start again. You know, try and build something together. I mean, after all the stuff we've been through, maybe we could make it work. 23 years older than her, by the way. Or is it 25? Think. I'm, I'm not ready. I think I need some time. I'm sorry, Ryan. I understand. Well, look, whatever you do, just remember I'll always be there for you. Ah, there you are. Nathan's looking for you. Come on, I'll take you to his office. Later, Ryan. Oh, you know what? I got a single malt in my office that needs sharing. Meet you in a few? No, I, I don't think I Come on. Don't make me drink it alone. Waste of a good bottle. I'll call it. Tell you what, I'll find you, okay? <laughs> this way, Jody. Okay. Yeah, it's a really good thing we didn't continue yesterday, huh? Because holy shit. It's still going. Some decisions are hard. Someone, someone did a, I think it was Wuggy. Wuggy showed the age on the wiki and he was 38 or something. But I don't know if that's like 38 at the end of the game or at the beginning of the game. If it's at the beginning of the game, then he's he's like like at least 20 years older than her. But if it's at the end of the game, then uh, I don't know. It might be it might be closer, but it's still like a, a huge uh, difference. Uh, I'm gonna go pee real quick. I'll be back in five minutes.
Uh, I agree that there are worse things than, than uh, an age gap between two consenting adults, but uh, I, th I was on the impression that it was a 23-year-old difference when they first met, and, like, he stole her away as, like, not an adult yet from Nathan's facility. Like, it's still really, really bad. Thirteen still meant that he was like thirty, right? How old was she? Oh no. Like she was still a teenager and he was in his thirties. That's pretty bad. Do 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 thank you dumpster lads for the four and three sub thank you very much and also thank you to Vororiak Vororiak hopefully I'm saying that right for the eleven and three sub one day I will say it right the first time thank you very much Alright let's go resume game No to make, huh, Jody? There we go. Don't speak regrets. Sure, regrets. Just hope I make the right one. Just do what your heart tells you. And you know you made the right decision. Mm hmm. Told me to possess you so I go so I could go to a bar. That was the bad decision. All right, here we are. Call me when you're done. I come pick you up. Okay. Whatever Nathan says. And then we never saw him again. Come in. Looking good, Nathan. Oh, that's a cool painting. I like that painting. Jody, oh, I'm so glad to see you safe. I kept my part of the bargain. Now it's the CIA's turn. As far as the CIA is concerned, you no longer exist. Cool, that's the ending. All right, well, that's a weird ending, but okay. You're now Elizabeth North. No identity and no life. Five hundred thousand dollars. For services rendered. That should help make a new start. Refuse, accept. Ah, eh, just take it. Thanks. Yeah, why not? Fuck it. Seems a bit light considering what she did, to be honest, but okay. Before you go, there's one last thing I'd like to ask. When my wife and daughter disappeared in that accident. Disappeared? 15 years ago. I wanted to die too. I cried a lot. Banging my head against the wall trying to figure out why, why. Why them?
Okay, I gotta hand it to Willem. That was some really shitty dialogue, but he sold it quite well, huh? That that was actually a pretty good delivery of what is like a <laughs> really bad line. Like, like good job. <laughs> Never being able to hold them again. It was like a wound that wouldn't heal. But then you came along. And I realized they were still here all the time, near me. I just couldn't see. And did I take comfort in that? No. I chose the impossible. I chose rapture. The government gave me everything I needed to study the infraworld. They were interested in military applications. I was interested in seeing my family again. It's taken me some years. But I finally succeeded in creating this. What? What? Hello, my darlings. Is <laughs> <laughs> he looking at this and being like, yeah, this is okay? What? Helen. Hey, how's it going? Looking good. Laura. I miss you so much. <laughs> See them every day. <laughs> so we'll be together. I'm working on a modified condenser that can communicate with souls of the infraworld. Speaking with the dead, Jody. Can you imagine? What do you want from me? I want you to help me talk to them. I want to hear their voices. I want to tell them what I'm doing. Until I finish my research, you're the only one that can do it. Okay, except, where's this going? Give me your hands. Let us out of here, you maniac. I don't love you anymore, Daddy, because you did this to us. Why would you think this was okay, Nathan? Look at our faces. Just scream, please. Just scream. Full body scream. Helen. My darling. I missed you so much. Let us go, Nathan. <laughs> You're hurting us. You've got to let us go. Let us die! You. You're lying. Helen did say that you did. You're keeping them here. They're being torn apart between two worlds. That, that's not true. You're lying. I know they want to be with me again. I know they want to be with me. Reason, cold, sympath sympathetic. Reason. I know how you feel. You know nothing about how I feel. You hear me nothing. Goodbye, Nathan. What? That's it? You're just giving up? I hope you find peace. Whoa. Well, I tried. Okay. How did he catch them both in that in that ghost trap? Go that way. Is 
So, how is this gonna end? We still haven't done the prologue part, right? Right? Uh, oh no, the CIA lied. Hi, Jody. Good to see you again. Well, you put us in a very difficult situation, you know that. We can't let you go. Why not? We can't kill you either. Why not? I don't know what you'll do on the other side. Well... So there's only one appropriate solution. We inject you with a neuro acid, which will put you in a permanent coma. Yep. That's the only solution. Exactly what we did with your mother. Damn. A uh, simple and elegant way to put an end to our uh, collaboration. Goodbye, Johnny. But we have a ghost. Remember the we ghost? We will always be grateful for your help. Did you account for the ghost? No. Only his head had a shadow. That was really weird. but I didn't want to see. Help me, Nathan. I'm going to accomplish man's oldest dream. Nobody will have to die anymore. No one will ever be separated again. What are you... What are you talking about? The containment field. I'm going to deactivate it. The infraworld will spread through our dimension. Life and death, united in one world. It's not just souls on the other side. It's death. I've beaten death, Jody. Everything's gonna be just fine. No you need to trust motive, me. no crime. Everything. It's gonna turn out fine. What do you mean there's death on the other side, Jody? Like, death isn't a thing. Death is a state. Death is something that happens. How do you know that? You don't know shit. Alright, now we can be Aiden. Alright, here we go. We guide and find something else. Why are we too weak? Is it because she's weak? Get help. Hurry. We can't go through. We can go through ceilings now. Okay. All right. Damn, the underwater uh, base was so much better than this one. Where's the rest of your team? Ben's and Nick. <laughs> They have three months leave. They're on a beach on some exotic island, no doubt. Lucky bastards. Hey, I've got a couple of emails I need to send. You mind if I do that before we crack the bottle? No problem. Okay. Hi then. Matt? Yes, he's strong enough to do this, but not strong enough to do anything downstairs. Okay. Cole here. Hello? Hello? You keep entities in this lab? 
Good God, no. They're all trapped behind the containment field. Aiden? Is that you, Aiden? If this is a joke, it's not funny. What is it, Aiden? Where's Jody? Ooh. Get me a flashlight and I'll tell you. Lead us to Jody, Aiden. Through the power the of way. shadow puppets. Ooh. Right. Now where? I can't hit this button. Okay, what do I do? This way. Over there. Okay, I get it. Yeah. This is easier than pulling an IV out. You want us to take the elevator? Is that it? Isn't this our facility? Why are you scared? Maybe they're not. Shit, a guard. Leave it to me. Can I help you? Cole Freeman, I have level three authorization. He's with me. This is level four. Mm, I'm sorry, Mr. Freeman. You do not have the correct authorization for this level. Maybe you could make an exception. I just want to show him. Sorry, sir. This area is level four classified. You do not have the right credentials. That's why it's level four. You gotta get us past him, Aiden. How could we hear that? Desk 42, hello. Hello? Hello? He's done it. What, what did we do? I think you made a mistake. Could you check again, please? Cole Freeman, Ryan Clayton. Wait, did we update his his clearance? I'm sorry. My God. You are on the list. My God. My apologies. Um, go on through. Thank you. We're like the ghost in the Hurry shell. In. Take us to Jody. He can hear you. All right. Moved. Right. Now where? What? Once again. Yep. So much. So much. So weak. So weak. Man, game doesn't make any sense. Like me, oh shit, no, I didn't, the things that are in here, they're ghost proof, you can't do it. Alright, there you go, done! Jody's here? Jody! Get there! Oh, Nathan! He's gonna deactivate the containment field. What? Why? Why would he do that? He's gone insane. I think he's gonna get his family back. We gotta stop him. I I'm stunned that Ryan is a is a uh, like. Oh, 
on the good side now. Containment field. Oh Christ, he's done it. He's done it. Damn, he must have low for clearance. No. No, I'm okay. Okay. This way! Hurry up! Don't stay here! No. Come on! Get out! Get out. Get back to the place! Now! Oh no! This way. Why are you covered in shit? What? What is this guy doing? Now this is cyberpunk. He's just like stuck in this like holding gun animation while he's covered in shit. Like, right, where are they going? It's like a conga line. Will they come back if we wait? This way! Alright, we're the only ones that thought to use this elevator. Here we go. It might still be a chance to reactivate the field. It isn't already too late. Get out of here! I... Jesus! The field is down. They're out! They're everywhere! They're all out! Damn, after the prologue, do we have to go catch all of them? It becomes open world after all this. Catch all the ghosts. Jody, you're the only one who can stop this. Dawkins has gone mad. He took down the field. You gotta get rid of these goddamn monsters now. I ought to kill you, McGrath. But the last thing the Infraworld needs is a son of a bitch like you. <laughs> Get out of my way. Yeah, stay in this world. Clayton, get me out of here immediately, Clayton. Everyone knows. Clayton, Clayton, that's an order. When you die, you become more powerful. <sighs> We're on Star Wars that logic. Resignation. You're all gonna die here. We're all gonna die. He's gonna whip out a gun and shoot himself in the head right now and be like, ha 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 ha. <laughs> You didn't say what you needed to try. All what right. It's a portable containment field. Should protect me long enough to reach the condenser and trigger the manual. Okay, there you go. Why didn't you put one of them on her while she has the IV going? And that's why he can't. That's why ghosts can't do it. The answer's in the story. Oh, you put a containment field over. Now I didn't can't save her. Oh no, I didn't. You can't save me. Go help. Not. Oh, you're too weak in here. But everywhere else, you're fine. Like. Th that could th five seconds. Might be our only chance to close the rift. It's a long shot. It's the best I got. You're talking crazy, Cole. We need to get out of here. Let the military clean up their own fucking mess. Jody, no. Paul's right. It's our only chance. Right? Do we still leave and go to the prologue after this? Are we getting the stun today? <laughs> all right, all three of us will go. Do 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 do. Black Sun is at the center of the do, 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 do. No one's ever been before, so there's no telling what we'll find down there. How much time do we have after we've activated the self-destruct? The system was designed to be activated remotely. The explosion will be practically instantaneous. We're not coming back. Do, 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 do. Alright, time for a flashback. Oh no, okay, alright. The 
condenser zone is on the other side of that door. We've got company. Oh, they haven't seen us yet. It's our only chance. Jesus. I hope you're right. Or our little trip into the infra world might come to a sticky end. Good thing we have these containments. They can't get us. We're containments. We have containments on us. We're fine. Joe, don't get too close to them. Ida, don't attract attention or we're dead. No. Wait, who's that? Oh man, hope he's okay. No, no, really, who was that? Was that Cole? Is Cole dead? Like a, a room that like, had way more ghosts in it than this before, without a containment thing helping us. Fuck! Jody! They're coming! Jody, no! I am thou, thou art I. Thou hast discovered a new world. Ghost healing. I didn't stand all we can. What if we put two belts on? Damn, look at this place that no one's been to before. The Black Sun. Let's finish this. Black Hole Sun, won't you come and wash away the rain? This looks cool. I like this. I didn't have the time. I meant to go until I was back. I lied. I'm sorry. Damn, immersive you subtitles. Don't listen to it. Keep going. Who are they? Souls! Lost souls! More than two. We've gone beyond that. They're all around us. I know. What are we doing down here? It's like... 
moment. My baby. I lost my baby. Have you seen him? No. No, I... Ryan! Ryan! Helen! Helen! Well, he has, a, he has a gun. I can't find them. I call them, but they don't come. Reason. Maybe it's because they don't recognize you anymore. Oh, damn. Got him. Your anger has changed you. Yeah, that's what we should be talking about I right now. I miss them. I miss them so much. Determine. Reason. Let me pass, Nathan. The condenser must be destroyed. You know it's the only way. What? No! 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 <laughs> no. <laughs> I missed you. I missed you so much. You're the only one who can fix this, Jody. <laughs> Do it. Do it for me. Are we are we all in the afterlife in the end? Then I thought the prologue he was in the prologue. Is this after the prologue? I'm so confused. Oh shit! Oh no! Oh man, that was up, not right, even though she's moving to the right. Alright, here we go. Right again. What if we fail? Doesn't matter. Ryan's just happy to be a part of this. Whenever you want to help, Biden, let's go. Fucking monsters! Thought these damn belts would be dead. Um. And my containment field's not working. Did she what? turn it off? You sure? Just check the panel. I'm telling you, it's not working. Fuck. The fuck. 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 I gotta think. I think of something. <laughs> Stand the best chance of destroying the Black Sun. Just take this oh, and no, do it. Oh no, those things are gonna slaughter you. Take the damn belt and destroy the fucking condenser. It's me, Ryan. I care now. All right. Did, really? It, it broke after he said that. Did did Cage thought we needed a reminder? To, oh, we're kissing. All right. I get out of here before okay, I change my cool. mind. They're kissing. All right. Here's a reminder that the belts are the only thing keeping them alive. Oh no, the belt. It's broken. Snake, that hallway is full of microwaves. Alright, here we go. We made it. Man, this belt's doing jack shit. 
We inject you with a neural acid, which will put you in a permanent coma. Exactly what we did with your mother. Oh, we're still in the coma! It's too late, Jody. It's too late. Oh my God. Oh, she's a slut. A slut and a witch. Oh, yeah. What do you do with witches? They, they had to come back. I'm sick and tired of your stories. Jody, this time you're really gonna get it. Whoa. Down, Nora. Little boy. For God's sake, what's going on? The twin. He strangled them. Uh, oh, for fuck work. I want to see my son. Aiden. My twin. My brother. That, that makes that whole, like, preparing for Ryan's dinner thing a bit yikes then, huh? But I guess we didn't understand the context. We couldn't leave each other. Our souls were bound together. Oh god, are they gonna kiss? I loved you. And hated you for years. You are a part of me. It's cool looking. All right, light or dark? All right, uh, let's go dark. Living, feeling, being in love. I love you, Jody. Growing old. I love you. So many things I still have to do. Oh, okay. No, that was the wrong choice. Okay. Sorry. Other side. Another world. Coming the wind, the stars, the universe. With Aiden and those I've loved forever. That's awkward as fuck. Beyond life. 
Well, the prologue means we choose life, don't we? So let's go beyond and see if we break it. Beyond. That's how my story ends. I hope Cole's okay. No one's ever been here before, by the way. Jody! Jody! Jody, can I wake up? Jody, wake Jody, wake up. Jody, wake up. Not again. No. Quick, next scene, then she'll be fine. Come on. Oh no! Uh oh. Uh oh. What? What if you didn't shut down the box, son? Okay. What was the prologue? There's a world out here. Oh, Plains I remember now. Okay, I was confused. And lakes, and mountains, and rivers. The prologue was her talking at the beginning in this it's area. All around us. Okay. You just have to listen carefully to hear its whisper. Damn, I wish that was a bit hell. more clear. <laughs> There's no god or devil. Just a place where we continue to exist after we die. My soul explores it endlessly, and I've still only seen a fragment of it. I can be everywhere and nowhere. I can dissolve into nothing or become whole again. I can merge my soul with others or, or be more alone than any human being has ever been. All this is possible. Merely by the force of my will. But you can't get a burrito anywhere. That's the drawback. No burritos anywhere. It sucks. That's why people come back to life. To have burritos. That's the meaning of life. I continue to look through to your world. I watch over those I love. I'd like them to know I'm there. You love Ryan? That I'm okay. To hold them in my arms one more time. Tell them how much I miss them. Yeah. But I have to settle for being close by. Invisible. Transparent. No more than a fading memory. Oh, Cole lived. That's good. Must have been the wind. J 
you know this whole game is based on uh, this this life experience David Cage had that he got cold in a room once? <laughs> Goodbye, babe. I know what has been and what is yet to be. I know all the possibilities. I can see the darkness coming. What darkness? I must stay a while longer. Seems like what we did was pretty inconsequential then. There is still a part to play. Okay. Before I can leave to discover what lies. Beyond? Beyond. <laughs> Will David Cage ever make a sequel? Oh, the gang stayed together. Nice. Sometimes, I could spend hours staring into space, watching the images as they go by. I play over and over again. Like a TV that's never turned off. I don't know why I'm seeing all this. But there's one thing I do know. It all really happened. When I'm alone, I listen to the voice inside my head. She talks to me. She says there are things I need to know. Sometimes I shut my eyes and it's as if I could fly. I can go through walls. I see beautiful colors around people, and I discover faraway places without ever leaving my room. The voice told me not to tell anyone. What's happening? I'm really scared. Especially at night when I'm alone with the shadows. There are things moving in the darkness. Strange noises. Whispers in the dark. The voice says it's nothing. That it'll all go away. But she won't tell me what these things are. And I'm too scared to ask. Awesome. I often have the same dream. Oh, it's still going. Okay. Everything seems so real. The sounds, the smells, the light. Deep down, I know it's not just. Oh, I remember dream. this. It's like an echo. An echo of things to come. I must get ready. Fight entities. I know there's not much time. Nice. There's only one thing I can be sure of. Nothing at all. I will never be alone again. Alright. Contest for how bad it could end. <laughs> I was like, it was already pretty bad. It was like, yeah, okay, whatever. And then that last part was like another drop in a roller coaster after the first drop, like <laughs> into the core of the planet. Like, what the fuck was that? <laughs> what? Oh, 
So why didn't they make the next one? Beyond Three Souls? Where, when's that coming out? Do you think that the reason why he didn't make it was because, like, everyone he went to said, No, no, sorry, we can't, we can't have a game called Beyond Two Souls 2. Sorry, that's just a no-go, make something else. But no, I really want to- No, no, we're not doing it. Pick another name. No, that's the name I want. No, then make something else. No one is gonna buy Beyond Two Souls 2. So, um, this is pretty bad. <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know how to process that. I don't even know. It's like every David Cage game so far has been just been amazing in different ways. Like the first one just goes off the rails in, in just like a, a glorious mess. And then Heavy Rain is just like, so many things are set up and then just never resolved, so who gives a shit? And then this game is just so incoherent and all over the place that it's just... I'm just astounded. Like, I'm literally astounded. I don't even know what to think right now. That was just, just amazing. Like... I don't even know how to process everything that just happened. Someone's asking if um, if the story was originally linear and they scrambled it. Do I still think that? Uh, I mean, I still, I still, I think no matter what, it was going to open with um, with uh, Jody um, in the the beyond talking. Uh, I don't know, I kind of feel it's the same way. I kind of feel like maybe, maybe with some extra scenes that they cut or like were planned. I have no idea. I'm sorry, like I, I'm, I'm fried after this. I have no idea. I, I can't even process this shit. I can't believe it. How did, how did Willem Dafoe still end up being completely irrelevant and he just goes into oh i just i just have my wife and my daughter stuck in this ghost trap and it, it took me this long to do it and i just have kept that like hidden and wrapped up for the whole time i've known you jody and i've been like yeah don't worry you can go and get the condenser if you want but no you don't have to if you don't want to here's here's fucking edgar Allan poetry book as you go to your party but by the way just living in agony for my for my wife and daughter ghost trap time like a uh, what? What? Oh, uh, you could you could have done stuff in the infra world. What? Oh no. Okay. Oh no. 
game mode, solo duo, okay. I feel like I didn't, like, was done dirty too, like, like, there's that reveal and then it's like, okay, who gives a shit? And it's like, Aiden doesn't come back or gets to talk or there's no, like, moment where they can interact or anything. That would have been pretty powerful if he's like, I can finally talk to you properly and all this other shit. And it's like, no, it's just like, no, fuck you. Like, like, what? So Remix Order, I think, is, is the game um, told to you line linearly instead of, uh instead of how it is. All right, where's the the scene where she's in the um, the police station? Oh, is that actually part of the prologue? I wasn't crazy. It's just bundled into this one. All right, dinner, and then she goes on the mission and then she leaves. So hunted is the part with the helicopter, and then she's homeless, and then bro oh broken. Where's one's broken? Broken is after homeless. She goes out in the car and she gets stuck. Okay, and then she just Willem Dafoe's like darn, and then she just goes to Navajo. Okay. If we go to epilogue, do we get to choose the other one, like, right away? Save. Yeah, I'm fine with that. I don't care. There's a world out here. A whole universe of forests and lakes no. and mountains and rivers. No, we don't. Okay, all right. So we have to do all of the Black Sun part? Can we pick from the prologue? That that would be um, a pretty good idea, right? If you could pick from the prologue. I was born with a strange gift. The ability to see what no human being has ever seen before. It's all mixed up in my head. The images, the sounds, the smell. I need to remember. Put things in order right up to this moment. Remember who I am. I swear he's going to say fall. I don't if care. I had to say how it all began. I might just as well start here. I'd rather not choose at all. I found you. No. All right, where does this start? If it starts where I think it starts. Yeah. yeah, all right, well, we're not doing that. All right, good stream, everybody. All right. Good stream, everybody. Do, 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 do. David Cage. Do, 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 do. Thank you, DJ Squig, for the 513 sub. Thank you, Modella, for the uh, new sub. Welcome, Modella. Thank you very much. Thank you, LaRoche Monty, I think. LaRoche Monty for the 213 sub. Thank you very much. And thank you, Citrus, for the 100 bits. Thank you very much. Do, 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 Honestly, I want to I have no idea. I have no clue. I have no clue. I can't believe how, I can't believe, I can't believe the ending. I can't believe, I can't believe the ending. I can't believe. I can't believe this shit. I can't believe it. You know what kills me? At some point, I know, to convince Willem Dafoe and Elliot Page to be on this project, that this line was said to them like David Cage is is the Steven Spielberg slash Christopher Nolan of video games this is a really prestigious project oh. and then it's this I can't I can't believe it I can't believe it
is this game better or worse than Integral Prophecy? I mean, it's definitely more conf uh, more competent. It's better acted. It's probably better written. It goes off the rails in the same way. Oh, man. Like, Indigo Prophecy is just so batshit that it's so funny and entertaining. Like, this is a better game for the, for the right reasons, but Indigo Prophecy is just, just a wild ride. It's just so funny. It's so funny. Indigo Prophecy is so bad that it's good. This game is just is just bad, you know? And I don't know how you, uh, how you judge that. How do you compare that? Advanced experiments. Nah, I'm good. Okay. Alright, what's, uh, what's bonus? Beyond Two Souls trailer, design pack, design pack six. The origins of Beyond Two Souls. Performance capture in Beyond Two Souls. Every second of movement you see in Beyond is motion capture, uh, ranging from you know simple in-game motions, walking, turning, all the way to uh, stunts, fights, four-person fights on train roofs, to performance capture, to full facial and body capture at the same time. It's not your call, Aiden. I can do what I want. It is unusual to go in and wear the suit and have these dots on your face, and it's interesting because you're kind of like limited in certain ways, but you're also way more free than when you shoot a movie. I mean, you could kind of do whatever you want. The games we make at Quantic Dream are based in reality. Everything that actually happens in real life has to happen in our game, and the only practical way to get that is to capture the real thing. What? We have to rebuild the world in out of cardboard and tape and foam. We have to make sure it matches the what's in the game, and we have to make sure that we can actually capture with it because there are limitations to motion capture. So we have these very strange props that look really miserable, but they respect exactly the dimensions of the real set in 3D and the game, so all the contacts are fine. We can't use a car door in motion capture because it's shiny and it's really heavy. We can't see through it, so we have to build the approximate of a car door, but it has to at least have some of the real properties of a car door because just closing a cardboard doesn't play the same as a real cardboard. You're in a car. I don't know that part. it's this ridiculous looking thing made out of two by fours with a, you know, steering wheel. I'm a guy that likes to, they, when I'm going through a casual environment, I like to have my hands in my pocket. Well, your performance capture shoe doesn't have pockets. So we created these Velcro straps that became my pockets that I would have something to put my hands in. It's like pure imagination. Not just the fact that you're, you know, shooting a scene in a submarine. Cool. cool. <laughs> I was sure he'd love that. Or you're getting briefed about this uh, intense mission that you're about to go on in Somalia. Jamal Sheikh Sharif. Literally, it's like being a seven-year-old with your best friend and you're pretending that the, the world's gonna end and the bad guys are coming and we have to jump from couch to couch and avoid the lava. I think that that's also what makes it challenging but also really incredible and like raw. Everything becomes kind of uh, bare and essential, but also it's sort of disturbing sometimes. You know, when you're eating in a scene and say we're eating pizza, it's like a little piece of triangle cardboard that, thank God, says pizza on it, or else I would not know what it is. We build the helicopter. <laughs> you know, there was this uh, very intense dialogue between Judy and Clayton. So everything was on wheels, and we were moving the helicopter. Because I trusted you! Performance capture is <laughs> a 
And the trickiest <laughs> part of performance capture is, is the preparation. It's, it's getting people ready to perform. Uh, depending on how many actors you have, it takes a while to put the 90 plus markers on the face. They all have to be placed specifically for them to work right on the rig. So you have 88 dots, these beads all over your face. Not only I thought that, it was 90. You got all these hard ball like uh, Velcro things all over your they body. They fall well. off all it's the time. pose a little bit of a challenge. I mean, okay. all these little balls. <laughs> Everything's very refined because they want to have a vocabulary to play with. So you try to be the material. You try to uh, give them as much as you can. In our game, we have dozens of hours of animation. Damn, more animation Capture than gameplay. Everything demanded an enormous amount of focus of the team to shoot almost every day during one year. And then, of course, treating all this data, bringing it to uh, the character in the game. Nathan? Jody. Jody, where are you? Turn back. The game itself really requires emotion and subtlety, and I think there's no other way to capture all that than the way we're doing it. You know, they rely on each other. We couldn't get this performance without performance capture, and it wouldn't be worth getting unless it was from these people. It's a really great mix of technology and talent. All right, that's cool. I mean, you, you can't deny that there's a lot of talent involved in the game. It's it's just the writing just completely lets it all down. I was talking to someone about this yesterday, and I just I just don't I don't understand how there's just no oversight on that level. Like how how does this shit just not at some point be be like okay? So so the thing is is that a lot of people might be thinking like I used to think this too. Sometimes I still do think it, and I have to and I have to remind myself that it's like. It's hard to know when you're in the middle of a project how, how something is going to be going. So you might think, okay, well, why, does, why doesn't the actor say, hey, well, blah, 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 blah. Why isn't that bad? Sometimes that does happen. But like the actor might be like delivering the line, be like, wow, this is really bad. Does this really make sense? Well, they, they don't always see the bigger picture, right? So when I say oversight, I mean like someone more on the team that knows everything that's going on. But like when that person is also David Cage. <laughs> You know, like, I just don't. Oh, for fuck's sake! How how does it happen? How does it happen? Watch car, it's a good season. I don't think I can, I don't have that bonus. It's not unlocked. That's it, that's it. All right, I think I'm done, everybody. Uh, tomorrow we will start uh, Detroit Become Human. Um, which I'm sure won't get as crazy as this, right? Oh, fuck. I hope the movement's better. I really hope the movement's better. I, I feel bad for shitting on this. I really do. Just shit like this makes me think that like like the world doesn't make sense. <laughs> it's like, it be like, a, like a crisis of society. <laughs> like how does this happen? How can you have so much talent, so much money, so much faith, so much like like heart and soul poured into something, and then just one guy is like, nah, like how, how does it happen with just no oversight? Like what the, how? I don't get it. I don't understand. Uh, anyway, uh, before I go, thank you to Ember Rising for the new sub. Thank you very much. Welcome, welcome, Ember Rising. Hope you enjoyed the stream. And that's it. Uh, I'll see you all tomorrow at the usual time for uh, Detroit Become Human. So, um, 1 p.m. Eastern. That's when we start. And I think that'll take us... Uh, maybe we'll do two longer streams. I'll look up how long it is and see um, if we can do it in two streams. Because if it is, I'll do it in two, fi two five-hour streams. And then we'll start Vampire the Masquerade on, on Tuesday. Instead of splitting it up. But if we can't, then we can't. But yeah, that's it. That was Beyond Two Souls. Um... I don't know, I think maybe it's better than the Heavy Rain. I think maybe Heavy Rain is the worst one so far.
but like I'm still just reeling from from the awfulness that happened in some of the parts of it. But like being the ghost was cool. Uh, the performances were much better in this one. Um, the writing overall was was still better. There is some explained bullshit, but like you know, like th this was maybe more interesting. I don't know. I think Heavy Rain is the worst one right now. I would I would rank it. In terms of like just sheer enjoyment, who gives a shit? Indigo Prophecy for just being batshit and funny. Then this one, then Heavy Rain. Um, for like like actually judging it on purpose, like what it was trying to do, I'd give this one the top spot. Um, then Heavy Rain, then Indigo Prophecy. Like if you think Indigo Prophecy is meant to be a serious game, and you're supposed to be like during the action scenes, you're supposed to be like, whoa! Like like Indigo Prophecy is by far the worst one. Like by far, it's this, like 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 we're close to busting out the old word. Like there's no way. But like if it's not, if it's meant to be campy and funny and hilarious, it's it's by far the best one because it's just hilarious. It's just so funny. It's just so good. Uh, anyway, I hear Detroit Become Human is is um is the best one of the four. So we'll find out tomorrow. When I'm recall, we're gonna play that uh, after. Oh yeah, we're gonna do that before Vampire. Yeah, we're gonna play that after Detroit Become Human. That'll be the last game we play. We'll do at least one stream of it, and if it's awful, we'll stop. And if it's like playable, we'll continue. I hear it's like not even playable. Like that's how bad it is. I'm gonna have to like. Well, I don't have to. I'm, I'm definitely gonna have to do some tests to make sure it runs ahead of time. But anyway, I'm out of here. I'll see you. Uh, see you all tomorrow. Have a good rest of your night. The rain has stopped, the sun came out, what a beautiful day to take my family out to the mall. Then we split up, my wife takes Sean to get some shoes for his feet, and that's really sweet. But I got Jason, I got Jason. Oh wait, no, where did he go? He was standing right here My wife's gonna kill me Jason, where did he go? You got me searching high and low My heart is racing Press sex to Jason I'm walking around Then I see a clown And next to him is my little boy so I bought him a toy, he's selling balloons Jason wants a red one So I shell out two single dollar bills Then Jason, Jason runs through the, the hills. hills My wife just spotted me Then I tell her our son is gone Then I'm on the hunt again Press sex to Jason la, 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 Jason So small. Oh hey, I see a red balloon. Oh no, that's not my kid at all. Then I walk outside to see Jason crossing the street. How could he have walked that far? Then Jason is killed by a car.